Right, we do want some bosses. I think this is the better route for that. Upgrade two random cards. Yep. Strike and uppercut. Good work, chat. We got uppercut. Good work. All right. Doubt again. Can kill that out. Uh, we can't kill that outright. I lied. Actually, we can. Uppercut into a strike is great. It's at 26 health. Seems strong. Card door deck. Let me know, chat. Telesize is great. True grit. True grit is great. And ghost armor is okay. Uh, upgraded True Grit is a lot better than unupgraded True Grit. The ability to decide what cards you exhaust is very powerful. Talisize is quite powerful across the course of the game, too. It's nice to have passive armor that triggers every single turn. They're both pretty good. I think unupgraded Ghostly Armor isn't all that strong, really. I love True Grit. I love the ability to burn out shit cards out of your deck. But, uh, okay. Okay. All right, in we go. Smith some stuff. Let's get that metallicized or a perfected strike. What do we want to do here? Perfected strike is... Oh, I forgot we removed. No, we didn't. We did remove a strike. We, no, we have one of our strikes is upgraded. That's what it is. Okay. Mm -mm. I could see behind perfect, perfected strike or metallicized here as an upgrade would both be fine. I like the early damage for boss fights. I think we'll take that first, but I think our next one will be Metallicize. Speaking of boss fights, uh, I wanted two boss fights. And I guess the only way we're going to get two boss fights is to go here. We're going to miss an upgrade doing that, but all right. First boss fight incoming now. This is... Oh, we got innate fucking doubt again. That's so bad, man, when it shows up every single round like this. We really don't want weakness first round versus this guy. Okay. We'll take three. Now we're going to remove the doubt. Don't worry about getting a thick deck to remove that. We'll remove it later. Take a little bit of damage there. Maybe play a power gain 2 HP. I like it. It's not particularly strong. All right. Um, I would pass this. I don't think our deck is setting up to be the point where we want everything with strike in the name. I don't think it's particularly strong for our deck. I think the one perfected strike early will carry us to the mid game if we don't shit up our deck too much more. I think unupgraded Warcry is garbage, and I think Iron Wave is okay. I wouldn't be against upgrading that and getting a or picking that, but I'd be very happy to just skip here. So, Let's see what you guys do. Let's see what chat does. Chat makes makes me sad. What do we do? I think we skipped. So cool. All right. All right. Looks like. Good pick, chat. All right. Let's go forward. Or up, rather. Mm. Annoying fight. We'll trigger all three shells right now and take the damage. Let's 
Spit web as a debuff. Of course, when we're going to get the debuff anyways, we don't draw our curse. I'm sure curse will be in the next round. Uh, Alright. Can outright kill that one. Unfortunately, we can't kill both these. That's the bigger damage dealer. I guess we perfect the strike him. Take three. Wasn't as bad as it could have been. Second boss incoming. What are we taking? Uh, all these look bad to me. Headbutt can be okay. It's a little bit clunky to use. There's nothing particularly great in our deck that requires that. I mean, actually, a headbutt has okay synergy with both our uppercut and our perfected strike. Wild strike's shit. Flex is shit. Unupgraded flex is so bad. And I'm okay with nothing, too. Seven seconds, it's gonna be. Oh, it's close. It's close there. What do we end up with? Did end up with a headbutt, cool. All right. Relic time. Flood vial. We got a lot of healing now. Be nice to pick up some more powers. All right. So if we go left, we get question mark, two fights, two heals. No, let's go right. Let's get another boss fight. Mm. That thing. We get up to eight block here. Doesn't really feel like our opening hand was particularly strong. Out is innate, just deal with it. It's not innate. Uh, perfected strike here. Let's headbutt it. Okay, it takes some damage, quite a lot of damage, in fact. Any of these would have been fine. I didn't even have to do that. It's 24. I guess if I had hit that one with the perfected strike, it actually would have been a better play than what we actually made. So we can kill that. No, we can't play three cards, though. So it doesn't really matter. Are we going to go after this guy? Are we going to uppercut this guy? Uppercut that guy? the Vone worth it? How much more damage is it? 11. 4.5. We have to hit it with 3 strikes to make that worthwhile. I don't think it is. I think I would perfect the strike here, followed by a defend. And what I should have done with the perfected strike last time was go after that middle guy. Alright. We do eat two more dazes from that. Kill that guy. A defend is eight of its nine. I think that's fine. Don't really like the weakness here. Could draw. What am I hoping to pick up, really? Uppercut or perfected strike are the only things that change the way this plays out. It's two sixes or twelve. It won't be enough to kill it. So... Still, it might be nice to get rid of some more of those dazes. Let's do it. It's fine. Okay. Right. There we 
go. Set up a bone here. And a block for one damage. Okay. All right, perfected strike into there. Can't kill it without it. Let's headbutt that guy and get our perfected strike back. Okay. All right, headbutt's working pretty well with this so far. Letter opener. It's pretty unlikely to ever be useful for us. Offering power through a war cry. I would pick up offering. Um, it seems a little sketchy because our uh, hit points, the hit point loss in offering is very significant. But we do have two sources of healing and it might pay for itself. It's a very flexible card. 96% offering here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Offering is not always worth it. it. Most certainly is not, but I think it's pretty solid there. All right, let's head up this way. Annoying fight. Doubts in my opening hand again, because why not? Have to be able to kill this next turn, because it's gonna be buffed. Do I need to hit it again? There's a chance I might have to hit it again, right? I don't know. It'd be nice to run defend here. All right. Opening hand weakness again. Okay, perfected strike for the kill, plus metallicize. It's about as good as we can do here. It's buffing. So we will headbutt. The perfected strike and be done. Don't need to take any more damage. We don't need to take the offering damage. I think I like a headbutt plus perfected strike more than I like double perfected strike. All right, what are we taking? Uh, I would pass this, but I could be talked into Iron Wave if you guys really would like. Uh, we could use some sort of decent armor card, and we don't have one right now. We have no plus armor right now. Uh, I believe if, I believe after main man. I'm pretty sure if you have metallicize plus that shitty trinket you get a uh, get some bonuses out of that. <laughs> so I can be talked into anything you want. No, I, I can be I can be coerced into picking whatever you want, but you can't talk me into whatever you want. Alright, what do we end up with? I didn't even look. I looked away for half a second. We got an iron wave. Cool. All right, stick an upgrade. Uh, I would smith metallicize or iron wave. I think I'll start with metallicize. Okay. Let's head over this way. Next fight. Ooh, it's an ugly fight. We're gonna be weakness, so of course we don't draw our weakness card. Uh, let's definitely get metallicize out. It's gonna help us more in the long run. So let's kill the highest damage dealer that we can kill, which is here, followed by metallicize and feeling really bad. Okay, took 12. This fight is so much harder than most, like pretty much all of the other starting fights. Like, it's, I really don't like this one. You get shit on this one. All right, they'll keep our. 
stuff forever. 18, I can one-shot one of them. I think it is an offering turn. All right, let's perfected strike here. That happens every single time. Go after that guy. You can do six plus. I don't have to though. I could just iron wave. Let's see. So this would be six and seven, so it's uh, thirteen. It's not enough to kill. Could run. Actually, six and nine though would be enough to kill. That's fine. Okay. Armor should cover it. Okay. At least we didn't start with doubt. That's just telling you, Lord so I go on's worse. Because they're already gonna already gonna weakness us there. So the way the doubt has drawn is just increase the length of our doubt. Alright, uppercut here with the headbutt. And the uppercut will kill the guy next round, so that's fine. Uh, we don't have plus strength. Heavy Blade's bad here. We don't have any real advantage for power through. We have no way to make the wounds disappear and no way to draw off the wounds. That's really bad. Uh, let's take a look at Disarm versus Skip. I don't really like unupgraded Disarm. I think it's generally a waste of my mana, but maybe. I'd probably skip here. Okay, what do we get? Cool. All right, merchant time. We have 438 gold. We have a curse we want to get rid of. We can upgrade two random skills. Curses can now be played. Cost me an HP per curse. That sucks. Bag of marbles. Starting everyone with vulnerable is interesting. I don't know if it's good enough, but it might be good enough. Potions are bad. I don't know what Deep Breath does when it's upgraded. I've never played that card. So two skills are almost certainly going to be our defense. Having two defense upgraded right before the boss is not a bad thing. Gives us a little bit of armor. Our armor is really bad in this deck right now and our health isn't very good. I would probably uh, card removal service and war paint and save the rest of the cash. Could I could be talking to picking up bag of marbles? So I could take bag of marbles, war paint, and card removal. Right, either way, we're getting rid of doubt. Take them both. Let's take them both. Oh, got offering. Nice. Unexpected. I didn't even notice that was an option. All right. Uh, can we do it with 36 health? I would bet no. I bet we probably want to rest here. So if we chose the Smith, it'd probably be Iron Wave, which would not be bad. Gives us. Three health per time we play it, or I think maybe two health time per time we play it. Yeah, two health per time we play it, which is nice. I don't know what boss it is. What boss is that? Uh, square one, I think, is the guy who changes form, right? We don't want to upgrade Bash. We already have uh, Uppercut. We don't really care about Bash at all. Guardian. Iron Wave is particularly good versus the Guardian. It gives us a damage source we can play when he is uh, spiky. Definitely rest. Really? I 
I think I'm gonna upgrade the Iron Wave. I think the long, the long, it's a better long play. We'll see. We might get fucked in that. I might have screwed up your run, chat. We'll see. All right, let's do it. We get two health when we start, and two more health for the power. So we have a little bit. Got a bash into an iron wave seems pretty good to me right now. Take six off of it. We're gonna take a big chunk of damage doing that. The alternative is I can just like defend iron wave. Yeah, let's just try to take zero damage during this part. Take three more to deal six. I don't know about that. I kind of don't want to take any damage right here. Yeah. Okay. Uppercut's good here. Oh, come on, this hand. All the cards we want all show up at the exact same time. This is metallicized into uppercut. Then we take 16, we take 19 damage right now. Ew. Alright, the weakness will be good there. <laughs> Streamer thinking independently, time to give him Juggernaut. Oh man. Alright, it would have been really nice to draw Perfected Strike, which we just drew. Okay, this is doing 36. We can Offering for even more damage here. Problem is, it's not a good round for offering because we're gonna trigger his form anyways. It should just be a strike into a perfected strike, in my opinion. And what are we even looking to get? Okay. All right. I don't think we should offer him. I think we should save it. Okay, it would be great to get uppercut on him. I think a defend into an uppercut is fine here. Okay. He's doing 12 to us. We have an iron wave. I think bash iron wave is our play here. We need to set up to keep Vone on him for next round. Ideally, we're going to hit him with, like, uh, a perfected strike. If we draw any of these, we're probably in good shape next round. Okay. We are bleeding health. Just doing 20 damage to us. I'd probably offering this turn. Try to draw. I mean, we're going to 100% draw a perfected strike off that. So, I don't know. Do we want to draw that next turn, though? Actually, we might want to draw that next turn. Do we want to take 20 damage here? Let me clear it. would only be 16. It'd be less with uppercut still. I'm kind of actually tempted to uppercut and strike and leave him vulnerable to waste his next turn. So that's an idea. I think that's better. So the thing is, we don't want to put him back into the form where he's going to do his uh, his thorns form too quickly. Because I think we'll die. You think we'll die if I do it this way? I think we'll die if we do it the other way. I don't think we want to proc his mode this turn. You really think 20 damage here? That's tough. I'm not at 20 health, guys. I have four armor from this and a weakness. So we're going to be at way more. Think about that. We already take a quarter of his damage off, so he's only doing 16. Then we block four of it. We're only taking 12. But I think... 
I think we are going to offering this turn. Alright, let's take a look at this damage. That's 36. And another 19 on that. So 36 is 56 is 55. We can proc it this turn. And then headbutt for the perfected strike again. Headbutt next, we get max damage, and then uppercut. Okay. Alright, Iron Wave perfected strike here. It's the max damage we can do anyway, so. Alright. Okay, we can have a Limit Break with no plus strength cards, an Immolate with no uh, status or curse cards, or Reaper. Uh, Reaper's good with plus strength, it's not so good without plus strength, but it's okay. Um, I'm not against it, maybe we could get some plus strength later, I don't love it though. Uh, the rest of the deck has no plus strength, so it's going to be expensive to play, I don't know. Uh, Reaper's better with 4 mana and we have 4 mana, but it's not great. Reaper is so sick with plus strength, but we don't have any plus strength. Alright, chat, what did you do to us? Picked up a Reaper. Alright. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to let you guys vote on this too. So actually, let's set this up. Oh, you can vote anyways. Chat gets to vote on this shit? Okay. Uh, what would you guys take? I would either take Key or Black Blood, of course. He's pretty good here. Black Blood's pretty good here, too, though. We have a lot of healing. But probably key. Alright, guys. I need a quick break. I'll be back in a moment. See you shortly. <laughs> 